Hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel. I hope you'll join me today to paint some seashells with me. So this is what I've got out today. I've got some watercolour paper and this is a 7 by 10 inch pad and I've got my watercolour paints. You can use any colours you like for this. I'm going to be messing around with all sorts of different colours I think today. Um, I've got my little messy palette that's still got all of these colours from when I painted the sunset painting um, and I'll just use some of these and I may clear a little space to put some uh, kind of uh, more sandy peachy colours in there. Um, I've got a couple of brushes today. I've picked out um, a round size 7 and a 1, uh, so one to fill the shapes and one to do some fine details. I've got a pencil and a rubber or a razor because I'm going to be doing a little sketch first. And I've got my usual water and paper towel to dry my brush. I've also got a couple of pens out here. I've got a white pen. This is the Signo Broad uh, gel pen. And, uh, and then I've actually got this kind of creamy coloured Posca acrylic marker. I thought I might try that one as well. And uh, yeah, and then I've got some shells. So I'm gonna uh, have a go at drawing some of these. So I've got my little bowl of shells and I want to take some of these and uh, do some, uh, I want to create a nice composition on this page. But some of these are really big, like these ones. And then some of the shells are absolutely tiny. So I've got some really small ones. What I want to do is to kind of even out the sizes. So I'm not drawing them like to, to size, to scale. So I'll scale some of them down and I'll scale some of them up. So let's get some out and kind of look at the shapes. That one's good. Oh, that's a fun one. And I've got that one as well. And there, that one. Um, I've got another scallop one there. It's lost its little foot, but it's pretty. Um, and yeah, I think that's kind of similar to that one. Right, I'll put this to one side now and just start creating like a composition on the page. So I want to leave like a decent margin um, so I don't want anything coming too far to the sides. So let me roughly draw that in. I don't need to worry about straight lines for this. Um, and then let's see, I've got my scallop. Let's put that maybe at that top corner there. And you can see I've just drawn a circle for now because all I want to do is to get the big shapes in. Um, let's see, I've got this um, razor clam and that might be good kind of going vertically down the page like that. And then let's see, I've got this other kind of round one there, like a big round one that might balance that one out. Have another one like maybe in the middle there, maybe slightly smaller. And then fill the remaining space with some of these kind of more cone-shaped ones and spirally ones. Now I can go in for each one and just refine that shape a little bit. So I can take out any lines that I don't think are quite in the right place. And I can be a bit more definite about the shapes that I actually want. So this one's nice and simple, it's long and straight, and then it's got like rounded ends on both sides like that. So this one here is a really interesting shape. It's got like a, a little bump at the bottom and it's not circular, it's more like a, a skewed oval shape. So let's go for a scallop shell up in this corner here. And that kind of, both of these kind of come to a point. That one's even more pointy at the bottom. We've got a little kind of a foot or a little step at the bottom. It's kind of almost straight. And then they have 
little ridges that fan out. And then I can, if I want, put in the ridges fanning out from that centre point. Like that. Let's see, let's do this little cone shape one and put it in here. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger than it is, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit better. So we'll start off with a couple of parallel lines like that and, and round them off to make a little oval and then all parallel lines getting closer and closer together as we get to the top of the cone. Something like that. Tidy that up a bit. Make it a little bit rounder at the bottom. And then this one here is kind of similar, except this bit here is really big. Let's, should we do it that way around? Yeah, let's do it that way around. Let's do that one here. Again, I'm going to do it bigger than it actually is. I'll start my first line here, bulge out to the right and taper back in again. And then this one bulges out that way comes to a little point at the bottom. And then, similar to this one, I can add some extra twists on the top like that. So let's do this one next in here and I'm going to do it kind of facing the other way to this one. So, so the top, top shelves have a top, is that way. And this one, this one came to a point where this one's got much more of a rounded end. And then this one's got really kind of quite pronounced ridges on it to make them look like they're curving a little bit. Like that. And then down here, let's do some little ones I've just got this like limpet shell here. Let's put that one in there. And actually, I don't need to do very much for that. Just draw an oval really. Like that. Let's do, this one just looks like, from the side, it just looks like a little spiral. So let's just do that here. A nice rounded shape, maybe a little bigger there. Just a little kind of angular bit off the top of the rounded bit. And then we'll curve the rounded bit in and make a nice little snail shelly spiral there, like that. And then last one, let's do another one of these. A tiny little shell, you can hardly see that. Um, but it's very similar to this one. Um, so I'm gonna do it in the same way, but with this one, I'm gonna do it so you can see the little hole. So let's actually, we can use this one as a guide because it's a very similar shape. So let's put that in here. So a line across, a bit of a bulge out, come down to a point and then another bulge on this side and then I'm going to draw just like a little oval in there. 
and a couple of little twists on the bottom and you get that little spiral shape. So that's it for my sketch. What I'm going to do now is go over with the rubber again and I'm going to lighten up my sketches. So I only want to see it very faintly. I'm going to start by just activating some of my colours that I think I might want to use just by dripping some clean water onto them. And for this I'm just going to have a play. So most of these shells are kind of neutrally kind of sandy colours and you can see there's hints of pinks and purples and even blues in some of them and you can stick with really naturalistic colours if you want but you can also go wild and use whatever colours you fancy. I'm going to start with uh, the buff titanium which I'm just mixing into these warm colours that's kind of sitting on the palette here and I'm just going to start painting things in and dipping into different colours to change the tones as I go through. And all I'm doing at this stage is I'm just going to go around and fill in the shapes that I've drawn in in one colour, not in one colour. in one go, so in one layer, but I'll switch between different colours, different amounts of water, but I'm not worrying about putting any of the detail, any of these kind of little stripes and things that I've marked, I'm not putting any of those in just yet. And then while my paint is still wet, I can dip in more concentrated paint to different areas. And just let the colours mingle and see what they do. I think I'm going to have a more peachy pinky colour for this um, scallop shell here. paint these little feet in and if I want them to kind of be a different colour I can just leave a tiny little gap between the two areas or if you want them to kind of blend in you can kind of run them in together or you can kind of do a bit of both and just touch them in a couple of areas so you get a little bit of colour bleeding but not too much. I think this one is going to be lilac. It's completely the wrong colour for this shell, but I think it'll look nice on the page. carry on and fill this page with different colours and try and balance them out so that there's, um, that there's light areas and dark areas and there's a range of kind of different tones across the page.
now everything's painted in one layer, I'm going to leave this to dry and then I'm going to come back to it later. Now this is all completely dry, I'm just going to go over it again and make sure that any of the pencil that's kind of outside the lines is, is cleared away. Just makes it nice and neat. And now it's time to add some decoration, whatever you fancy. So a lot of these have got lovely markings on, lots of stripes, like this has got all these kind of nested rectangles on that I'm going to put in. Um, these have obviously got like nice shadowy bits in between the scallops, plus they've got stripes going this way as well, so you could have fun having stripes going both ways. But you can also go free range, you could do uh, doodles on them, you could do little circles, um, whatever you fancy. So for most of these I'm going to be using the same colours that I've already got mixed up, just maybe slightly darker, and then I've got my two pens as well. But of course you can add all the colours that you wanted to, you could use coloured pencils, you could use marker pens, um, you could, um, yeah, you could have fun at this stage doing whatever kind of lines and marks you fancy. So I'm using my smaller brush and I'm going to paint some lines on this one. nice strong line in to define the spirals better and then later on I can put in extra spirals and dots and stripes and all sorts of things as well. For this little one down here I wanted to have a little open section where you could see the inside of the shell so I'm just going to paint a slightly darker little oval in there like that. And then yeah, that's just the opening of the, the shell there. one here let's give that some stripes like this so it's got stripes that go along the shell like that but it's also got bands of color that go up so if I just do some lines of little dots heading around the shell this way that could look good one a nice little circle of those little marks as well in that yellow and then this one up here now this didn't have little bubbles on it but I'm gonna make them up so I'm gonna give it like a stripe of little marks going this way down every every spiral. I mean I made up the colour, why not make up the markings as well? Now I'm going to go in with my pens, I think I'm going to use this one to start with, this one's a little bit thicker, so to go in and add some stripes 
in between these rows on this shell. You could of course do this with a white pen or with um, more of the watercolour or you could mix some of the watercolour with a little bit of white gouache and you'll get a nice kind of soft, subtle colour there. So I'm going to use the white pen and I'm going to put some stripes in between these dark ones on here. Oh, pen is... Haven't used, hasn't used, been used for a while. It's a little um, reluctant to come out. I do some white dots on here as well. A little ring of dots, I think. It's quite nice. Um, let's put some more stripes on this one as well. Oh, in fact, let's have stripes of dots. I think I'm going to call it a day there. So there's my page of seashells, uh, little uh, pen details and um, lots of really lovely fun kind of pastel -y colours. I really hope that you enjoy this one. If you give it a go I'd love to see your version of it. You can post it to Instagram. Let me know by sharing it to Lou Rachel Davis and I look forward to seeing them. Next week is going to be my final video in this seashore series and uh, then I'm going to take a couple of weeks break and I'm going to come back with a brand new theme for a brand new season. If you'd like to see more from me then do subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you again very soon. Thanks, bye bye!